Mr. Glossy, super soft, great for when they're clipped, but also super on summer coats like this. Gets in deep, really brings up the gloss, like you can see here. And the horses love it, don't you choose? Look at that, perfect. Saturday afternoon job. Sleekeasy on the minis. Having a little snooze. My daddy does a bit of grooming. Look at that. Look at that. Very satisfying. Hi everyone, my name is Grace and I am one of the sponsored riders for Exclusive and today I'm just going to do a little video showing you my favourite brushes from their collections. So I'm going to start off by showing you the Mr Flicky brush. Now this is part of the Alan, <laughs> Alan Davies collection and this brush is just really useful. I always use it um, when my horses are stabled because you can just flick all the dust off the top and it leaves them really shiny. Um, and it's one that I also take to shows if the horses have collected dust from traveling or just generally just need that last minute shine, then I'll use this. And another one of my favorites is the Mr. Glossy brush. And again, this is from the Alan Davies collection. Um, and it is like it says in the name, it just leaves your horse looking so shiny. It gives it that finishing touch um, when you're just going out training or for the show ring shine. Um, and I use it at the end of my grooming routine just to get rid of the last little bits of dust, clean the coat, and just leave that uh, exclusive shine on your horse. So now I'm going to do a little video on my grooming routine with my horses. So Emmy here has been stabled overnight without a rug. So um, she's looking a little bit dusty, a bit greasy. Um, just could do with a good brush really. So I'm going to be going through um, how I get Emmy looking all clean and shiny using all the So I've just given her mane and tail a little brush. Um, so as you can see, we have some grease marks, um, some marks where she's just a little bit dusty and dirty from the stable, um, some leftover sweat uh, from riding, and we're just gonna give her a proper brush and see how we end up. So I'm gonna start with the Alan Davies curry comb just to get all of the loose hairs and dirt from under her coat ready to start brushing her. So we just use this in a circular motion and it just brings up all the dirt from under her coat. So this is Emmy after we've just given her a curry comb. So you can see all the grease and loose hairs that have come up out of her coat. <laughs> so now I'm going to use the Mr. Flicky brush that I was talking about briefly earlier, just to get all of the loose hair and grease off of her coat, ready for me to use the other brushes in a moment. So I do actually find the Mr. Flicky brush a lot softer than a lot of the other flick brushes on the market. Um, Emmy here is quite a sensitive horse, so um, she'll let you know she doesn't like the brushing hair. And I actually find that it does a better job than most of the other uh, brushes, because obviously these are designed specifically for horses' coats. So as you can see, that has already got all of those loose hairs and grease off of her, ready for me to brush her in a moment. So now I'm going to be using the Cavalier Ladies Brush. So this is actually a brush from the Bay and Chestnut pack, but I like to use a combination of the Alan Davies pack and my uh, Bay pack um, just to get the optimum results really. Um, so this brush is made from horse mane and tail hair. 
and it has longer bristles around the outside, as you can see here, um, which basically just gives you optimum cleaning results. So as you can see, she's already starting to come up quite shiny. So looking a lot less greasy than when we started. So I then like to round off my grooming routine using the Mr. Glossy brush again that I talked about a little bit earlier. It just gives that finishing touch. The bristles are really soft and silky and they just leave your horse with that show ring shine. So this is the routine that I'd use if I just wanted to give them a quick groom. If I wanted to do a real deep coat cleaning groom, then I would um, use the bay pack in the order that it says. So you can find that either on the exclusive website or if you buy the pack, it does come with a little instruction manual about what each brush does and the order at which you should use it. So this is the end result of our grooming. As you can see, Emmy is super shiny now. Um, it's left her coat looking really soft and glossy. Um, you can really see the shine now. So where all that loose hair and grease was is just now silky smooth. Hi, I'm Olivia Mossman and I'm one of the Exclusive's youngest sponsored riders. So today I'm going to show you my two favourite brushes and how I use them. So the first brush is the Schimmel. I absolutely love this brush because my two ponies there, I have a skew bolt and a dun, and they like to get lots of stains, so it's perfect to get stains off quickly. Today he doesn't have any stains, so I'm just going to show you the technique. So I go in a circular motion, and then I just go down, and I repeat this until the stain comes out, but it hardly takes any time at all. And then the next brush is the Coat Shine brush. So I use this brush after I've used all of the other brushes before this, and I just go in the direction to start his shine, um, and then I finish it off with the Coat Gloss brush. And then this is the same brush, just in small, so it's really good for Max because he's quite sensitive on his head, so it's not scary for him. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Holly Kersley. I've just got Horatia here in from the field and I just want to show you how I use the exclusive brushes to get them all shiny and ready to ride. So this is the first brush that I'm going to use. This one's really good for getting rid of the dust that's deep within the coat. So I start at my neck and then I give it a shake clean up. This, I make sure this is facing up so the dust that comes out of the brush goes straight into it, not back up into the brush. This is the second brush I use. This one is for clearing the oils from the coat. So again, same as the first one. I start with the neck. Good boy. And again, just giving them a really good clean. starting to really get shy in this coat just from even using two so this is the third brush I use this one is to get rid of any dirt that the previous two brushes have brought up brush I use. This one removes any last bits of dirt and provides a really good coat shine. This is the fifth 
and vinyl brush that I used. This one has the fluff on the inside and it's definitely my favourite brush to use. The horses really love it and it's really nice for them. I don't use the cleaner with this one because this one is more for getting shine rather than actually taking any dirt out of the coat. So this is the Alan Davis Flippy Brush. This is really good. Um, it really works for our routine and competition. So they all get the uh, five brushes, then non plaques, and then this is perfect for just giving a flick off to just get rid of any dirt that may have got on their coats whilst they're getting ready. Um, it's perfect. I'll show you how it works. It's just just get rid of any dust that may have come on their coats. Once we're getting ready, just a light flick, just flicks off any last bits of dust. So this is the side that I haven't cleaned yet. As you can see, he's still got a bit of shine because he has these brushes every day, but there are bits of dust um, that I haven't got yet. And then I'll take you around to the other side and you can see the massive difference and how shiny he looks on this side. So this is another one of my favourite products. This is the Mane and Tail Shine. It's a really nice little finishing product. So I just spray a little bit on the mane and then again a little bit on the tail just to give it a little bit of nice shine and then the ends and tails. So that was just a quick overview of how I get my horses ready using the exclusive brushes and get them all nice and clean ready to ride. I hope you all enjoyed it. The other brush we love using is the one we use to finish them off with their coats, the buffing up one. But Chalky particularly likes this on his head because it's nice and soft. There. And as you can see, he's got a beautiful coat, but he loves this because it's so gentle on him. And then we just use it to buff up his coat at the end. Give him a lovely shine at the end. Um, for preparing for the show ring is the, quarter, the one we use for quarter marks. Uh, it's great. Um, it gives a really crisp, clean edge and um, it makes awesome quarter marks, as you can see. Wishing we could get back to shows fairly shortly, but we're having we're enjoying lots of practice. Hi, I'm Vicky, and this is Verdi. He's dirty at the moment, aren't you? And we're going to try and work out which of the brushes are my favourite. Are you really going to yawn? Of course you are. <laughs> of course you are. Okay. So these are the brushes that I use most days when I'm brushing the horses and I think I'm just gonna make a video of using them all and stop on my favourite ones. So here we go. Okay. Here's my first favourite, you have to excuse my nails because the nail lady's not open at the moment, but it's the Mr Glossy. I really like it because it makes them super shiny, you use it in circles and also you use it the same way as the coat and it makes them look lovely.
This is probably my other favourite. I can't even come close to being able to pronounce that, but I know it's a coat gloss brush and it makes them so shiny and it just glides over their coat really nicely. So he's done his hair's obviously all on two sides again isn't it but he is shiny say bye birds to start off with is the rubber curry comb it's a really good firm bag i find it actually better than any other curry comb we've ever used on the yard uh, this filly's just come in from the field and she's a bit dirty so we'll just quickly run through what brushes that i'll use on her um, which i prefer with this brush i like it because it lifts all the dirt out and then you get caught. And as you use it in a circular motion, it actually massages them to the dirt right up to the surface. And then just a little bang on the floor. I'm going to do something very different. I'm going to, I know it's not for <coughs> bays or brown horses, but I like the shimmel brush um, because it's hard. Uh, I think it's coconut fibres. But what I like it is a good brush for taking stains off it, but I like it because it's a really good hard brush. And after I've rubber curry combed, I go over them with that. And this brush is used in the grey pack because it's so good for taking stains off them. I just like it because it's quite a firm brush. And when they've been out in the field, we had a fair bit of rain last night, so we've got some, the dust has now gone muddy, so they've been rolling in it as they do.
And the next brush that I really like is from the Alan Davis range. It's a nice flat brush. And we're just doing this quickly. See, in those few minutes, the shine that's coming up on this Philly's coat. Exclusive brush because it's really nice and soft and now now their winter coats falling out and their summer coats now through it gets a little dust off <laughs> my favorite exclusive brush because it can be used as two different things a scrummy brush for their feet and a hoof pick brush because when we're getting the horses ready for Amy it's really easy to quickly flick off all the dirt and dust stuff. I really like this occlusive brush because I feel like it really brings the dirt to the surface when I'm giving the horses a good drink. Brushing too. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 